So I had to make it into something special. And I had to think about how to get the residents there, how to get the press there. So I started to think, all right, what would get me there? Food. <laughs> right, food. I need food. I rang the Yarra Valley and I got them to donate some fantastic wine and some fantastic produce. And of course they wanted something and I had no money. And I said, I'll put you on the billing. You know, I'll put you on the invite. Okay, all right. And this could be a start of a relationship with a wafer gallery. And they, they might even open up a, a cafeteria. And so, so the story went. So, so they, I had wine and food for nothing donated for the night. Now I thought, that's not really enough. I need an event. I need a spark. What am I going to do? Ice. Ice sculpture. Huge. Big. <laughs> yes, that's what I'll do. How am I going to get that to happen? Right. RMIT, they sculpt eyes. So I rang RMIT and I got this professor and I said, you know, I'm, I'm looking for somebody who sculpt eyes. Oh, yes, ring this guy. So I rang this guy, can't remember his name, 20 years ago. And he said, oh, I will sculpt it for you if you get the eyes. Crap. All right, so I had the eyes sculpt, I had to get the eyes. So I rang, rang, rang. He gave me an, uh, a wholesaler that I could go and speak to in Werribee. Nice one. So I rang Werribee and said, yes, I'll donate the eyes. If you come and get it. Oh. Right. Mark, could I borrow your truck? So I borrowed Mark's truck, now my husband, and we took the ice to um, the Waverly Gallery two hours too early before the sculpture was going to be there. Coles, could I borrow your storage unit until my ice cutter gets there? Okay. You'll be on the billing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was something. And I thought, well, that's going to work. But it still wasn't enough. So I had an event. I had food. I had wine. I had a good-looking invite. I still didn't have any legend. I didn't have a way to capture their names for the next time. I needed a prize. I needed something good. I needed something based on the Antarctica. Dick Smith. Aeroplane. Book. Um, yes, I can do it. Ring. I was never afraid to ring. Whoever I needed to ring, rang Nick Smith. <laughs> Could you come and talk? <laughs> he wouldn't do that. But he did. He donated some fantastic books. We got a glass case, we lit them, and also National Geographic gave us a subscription for 12 months, all free, on the billing again. <laughs> this billing was getting longer and longer. Anyway, the long and the short of it is we got press there, we, they had a fantastic night, um, we had all their names. Um, and they came back again and again. So the reason I tell that story is I think I'm actually meant to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> but, um, but the marketing is thinking like a customer and it is thinking about what's resourceful, what makes sense, what fits within your budget. It doesn't have to always be a lot of money. So that's a little bit about me, way too long, but hopefully that'll stick with you as a memory um, and a story. So what is marketing? And I, the reason I put this up here is I think that you need to understand a little bit about it to, to work out where we're going on this journey tonight. And so the way that Wikipedia defines it is that it is a process. It's a process that's integrated. And at the heart of it is this customer relationship and that they and you have value in that. That's all it is. The best marketers I know are small businesses that are like this with their customers, that are talking to them, that know what they want, that have actually built their business around it. 